lovely people welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna be showing you how I did these one curls on my hair and this actually isn't my hair it's kinky curly clip-ins from protective styles hair now this is a company that I have worked with before so this is a sponsored video I have actually used their hair a few times before and I have videos up so if you guys want a more in-depth review on this hair I will put the link to those older videos in the description box below so this here is actually the kinky curly and I believe it's 18 inch and the 20 inches that I actually have so I really like working with this hair it's very easy to manipulate so if you guys are interested to see how I turn these clip-ins from kinky curly all the way to wand curls then stay tuned so to start off I am going to be applying some L'Oreal high color highlights in the color magenta and I'll be mixing this with some 40 volume developer so the ratio is one part hair color to two parts developer so whatever amount of color you use you'll be using twice that amount or twice that volume in developer so that's what I did and I'm just going to be mixing this all together and applying it to the hair so a few things to note about doing hair color, you want to add gloves so the color doesn't stain your hands and you should also use plastic utensils and a plastic container, don't use anything metallic. And I actually didn't buy enough hair color to dye the entire thing so I ended up having to really try to stretch the color and just mix it in. And I also used the foil paper to just wrap everything in and then I put it under my dryer, my hooded dryer. So the heat and the foil paper together just helps to keep the heat in and what this does is that it causes the color to process faster and actually makes it way more vibrant. So that's what I did and I was able to actually get the desired color without having enough of the physical hair color that I needed. So that just kind of, that's just kind of a little trick that I use to get the color to stretch a lot. But if you are going to color, I would strongly suggest getting three or four packs of color. So since I haven't actually dyed my own hair in a long time, I knew that I'd have a lot of black weave out. So I tried to do the hair that I am dyeing like not from the roots. So I left the roots dark as much as possible just so it would have a sort of ombre effect. And then I think that would help it to match a little bit more. But my leave out was like we the color is like almost gone. But I just tried to blend it in, which you'll see when I start curling my hair. So once I was finished coloring my hair and I got the desired color, I just rinsed it multiple times in lukewarm water and then I used regular shampoo and conditioner, like not my expensive shampoo and conditioner, just some cheap stuff I got like uh, Tresemme and some other stuff like from the dollar store. And you just wash it with shampoo one or two times until the color starts to run clear. And then you want to ensure that you condition it well and because this is human hair so you still want to kind of treat it pretty well. So now that the hair is completely washed and dried, I just use my brush to brush those curls out and that is what is going to give it that blown out look. So I have the most ratchet looking braids ever because I cannot braid to save my life. But it doesn't matter because I'm just going to be clipping this hair in and it's going to completely hide all of it. So don't worry about getting a super neat braiding pattern. You just need to get the hair to lay as flat as possible and then you start putting those clippings in. So for the front, I'm just going to be putting the clip-ins in a sort of half moon shape, just going around that one twist that's hanging down in the front. Um, that twist will be used to cover up the tracks to the back and then the two flat twists that are at the front of my head like right on my edges there those are also part of my leave out so to start I'm going to be using the Mongongo collection thermal heat protection spray it's really good at preventing heat damage I have used it on my natural hair before and I really like using it I also use their style setter um, from the same line but I forgot to show it 
in the video but I use both of them and you only need to use a small amount because if you get the hair too wet then it's definitely not very easy to curl and it will curl but look damp and you just have to keep like going over it over it over it and that can cause heat damage to the hair because it is human hair so you want to limit the amount of heat you put on it as well so I'm actually just holding the curler to the hair for about 10 seconds and that was enough for me to get a good curl and I have it on 400 degrees. So you also notice that I'm just kind of holding the hair as I take the rod out and this just helps this, the curl to set before you let it go because if you just let it go immediately off the curl wand then what's going to happen is that the curl is going to drop so it's not going to be as tightly curled as if you just held it for a few seconds before letting it go. So at the front, I just use my hand to mix my hair in with the clip-ins and this just helps to give it a more natural look because the two colors will be mixed together and I just find that that will just help the leave out to look more seamless. And another thing too, for the parts that have um, my natural hair in them, I only held the curling one on for 5 seconds. So definitely not taking any chances with heat damage on my own hair. <laughs> So to separate my curls, I just added a little bit of the main choices ancient Egyptian oil to my hands and that's just to help with the frizzing and now I'm just going to try to give the curls a sort of more beachy wave look. Um, I don't want to over fluff them because that will just make a big fluffy mess and I also don't want to leave them like too tightly curled because I don't want it to look weak. So I'm just separating these curls and just also trying to move the hair with my hands so as to cover any tracks that may be showing. This part you just kind of have to look in the mirror and feel it out on your own and ensure that it looks great to you. Next up I'm going to be using my Mayal Organics Honey and Ginger Edge Control and this is really great for smoothing your edges. It's not very hard to use. I would suggest that you use a nice um, soft bristle brush or you can also add a little bit of water from say a spray bottle to your edges before and that will just help to make it a little easier to move around. Now typically I would say don't cut your clippings just because you can move them around but in this case I just took like an inch off and it just kind of evened things up a bit. So finally I'm going to be using the Carol's Daughter Mimosa Hair Honey Conditioning Mist and this is just to add a little sheen and some movement to the hair and as you can see my hair looks absolutely amazing. I really love this hair, I've used it so many times and every time you wash it, it just goes right back and you can use it to do something else. So if you guys are in the market for some clippings, definitely visit Protective Styles. I will put a link to their website in the description box and you can use coupon code NKNaturals to save on your purchase. So if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for tuning in. Definitely hit that subscriber button before you leave and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!